So in the following videos, I'm going to show you how you now need to maintain the student service learning system. We're going to look at how we can add a new service to the system. So at the moment we've got service one and two, and we've got service one here, service two here, etc. Okay. So what we need to do is add a new option to here. So we're going to add that now and call this service three. Now at the moment it's saying continue to next section, but we need to create that section before we can continue to it. So we've got down here service one and two. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can copy it or you can just create a new one. So because we've only got two sections here, I'm just going to create a new one. So let's click here, all right, to make sure that we're in the right area, okay? And then we're gonna add a new section. So this section is going to be called 3.service3. And then what we need to do is create a new question. What I can do is click on this and duplicate this question, okay? Add a three here, and then I want to just remove these two options here and delete that option. Remember this is going to be populated by the spreadsheet and at the moment we just need option one there. And then what we can do is drag this down under our service three, like so. Okay, so that's, the, that's all that needs to be done in order to actually create a new service within our service learning. Now what we need to do is just go up to the top, click on this question, and now we can choose the next section. So we're gonna to go to service three. But then we just need to make sure that all our other sections are going to the right place. So service one, once service one's going, it goes to section five, which is details, which is this section here, which is correct. Then after service two, it says continue to next section. Well, that we don't want to do. We also want it to go to details. So we're gonna click that there. Then service three, we go to details. So that's absolutely fine. And then that, the rest of that is all okay. So that's the first stage of adding a new service to the service learning system. In the next video, we're gonna look at what that looks like in the spreadsheet.